Hey everybody, Dave really here. Thank you so much for joining me for the second episode of Office Lovers. And the first episode with Sadayoshi Saijo, who is our former boss when we were in our last department. But he is no longer our boss, but he wanted to work with us again, so we got sent on that special project and uh, now we get to work with him again. I mean, it was just a hunch, but I think his route should be the happiest. <laughs> I hope. So I'm hoping that'll be the best advertisement for the game, so that's why we're starting with him. Let us see if that's true or not. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Chapter 1. Confidential Information Can't let that industrial espionage go on here. I could hardly believe my luck. I had been selected to join the development team on a huge project to make new products. Still in disbelief, sitting among the other members in the meeting room felt like a dream. I would like to draw your attention to the papers I handed to you earlier. As you see, our goal is to develop new products for the holiday season. Mr. Hyoga, the project leader, looked carefully into each one of our eyes. Our competition will most certainly be releasing all sorts of products for Christmas. So, it is essential that we put out something that will bring us out on top. If we were doing a Christmas package, it would need special colors and classy packaging. Without something else to draw on the eyes of passing women, it would surely fail. First, break up into teams and start to brainstorm for ideas. I want to work on lipstick with Dorilli. Mr. Saijo spoke up without missing a beat. Why would he want to group with me? Why indeed? Are you sure you're okay with working with me? I was surprised enough to be selected for this project, let alone picked as a partner. Despite my second guessing his choice, Mr. Saijo turned towards me with a smile. I was thinking you might be a good partner. But thank you. The sudden turn of events made me feel confused and pleased at the same time. Since she's worked with me already, I think we'll have no problem together. If you say so, I'll leave you two in charge of lipstick then. Okay, I'll do my best to keep up with Mr. Saijo. It looked like we would be working together again. It was reassuring for me, but I would have to go the extra mile not to let him down. Damn, he scooped her up before I could. I want to work with her too. Jeez, man. Make me work for it a little, guys. You're not children anymore. Suck it up. <laughs> Mr. Kaido sighed with disappointment while shaking his head. I was a bit worried whether or not I was fit to work on this project. However, most of that worry vanished when I heard the others arguing over pairing with me. It's me and you again. Yeah, I can't wait to start. I know how hard a worker you are. You'll be a valuable asset to our team. He had high expectations of me. I didn't want to let him down. I gave him a nod of confidence. Since I was working with Mr. Saijo, I couldn't afford to slack off. The first thing I did was look at our past 10 years of cosmetics from the holiday seasons. Then I looked at the cosmetics and sales figures from our competition. It looks like the sales of lip gloss have been trending lately. I was immersed in my work when I felt someone pat me on the back. You're really at it, huh? Oh, Mr. Saijo, you surprised me. I hadn't noticed him approach, nor the fact that the office was already empty. I had no idea it was almost midnight. You haven't changed a bit. You always used to get so into work that you lost track of time. Sorry, it's a bad habit of mine. Don't be. I think it's an amazing talent to be able to concentrate that well. I don't know. If anything, it's something I admire in you. Really? My heart skipped a beat when he said he'd admired me. He probably hadn't meant anything by it, but it still surprised me. What do you say we stop for the day and go get something to eat? That would be great, but by then it will be too late. We'll miss the last train. You don't remember that I get to work by car? Apparently not. But it isn't a big deal. I can drive you home like I used to. He used to drive me? And I forgot that? I don't know. Apparently he does want me to play hard to get. My place is out of your way. Oh, that's more convenient for me. What, can you want to stay the night? What do you mean by that? What do you think I mean by it? Stop fooling around. Oh, I never was from the start, though. Oh, aren't you coming? I never said I would. Listen to what your boss says is one of your duties, you know. All right, all right, I'm coming. But you're not my boss now. That's better. For as kind and as gentle as he looked, Mr. Saijo sure had a pushy side to his personality. He seemed more worse now than when I knew him before. More worse, that's improper English again. Some past incidents that happened due to his personality came to mind. Last night, Mr. Saijo bought me dinner and even drove me home. I guess it's the next day. 
I shouldn't get used to him driving me around, though. It wasn't fair to him. Got a minute. I do, but first, thanks for yesterday. No problem. I had a good time. Mr. Saijo was a very nice person and close to my ideal boss. Thanks for putting together all the materials for the makeup. It makes my life easier. I'm good at doing that sort of thing. Anyway, I took a look at it and came up with something. He bought out the figures on my computer. Looking at the same monitor, our faces were so close I couldn't concentrate. I was trying to regain my composure when I noticed him staring at my lips. It looks like lip gloss sales are killing the market for lipstick. Yeah, we need a concept that brings the focus back to lipstick if we're going to succeed. Well, I think men have a tendency to like women who wear lipstick. I... agree. I could see why a lot of men think lipstick is sexy. There is something about it that brings out a woman's feminine charm. To be successful, we need to find out exactly what that is. Yeah. Why are you staring at my lips? <laughs> Sorry. I was imagining you wearing lipstick. Look at him blushing! Ah! When he said it to me with such a straight face, my heart fluttered. By the way, do you use lipstick or lip gloss? Do I look like I use it? What? Neither. I just use lip balm. How come? I'm too busy and don't have time to make myself pretty. What a waste. Though, it's probably safer that way. What do you mean by that? Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. What, would you jump me? Really? Yeah. Occasionally, he had moments like this, where I had no idea what he was talking about. Because you're another clueless heroine! Like usual. That's probably why you never got together in the first place, even when he was your boss. We've got our work cut out for us. In just three days, we have to present our concept. I'll schedule the meeting room for us as soon as it opens up. Please do. Mr. Saijo quickly left without another word. With lipstick on my mind, I thought to myself it might be a good idea to use it once in a while. I should have the time to do it no matter how busy my schedule was. I wonder what Mr. Saijo would say if he saw me wearing it. Why was I so concerned about what he thought anyway? Because you like him. Because I made you like him because I chose his route. Using the meeting room was great because we could work without any distractions. I was working on creating a new concept for lipstick with Mr. Saijo sitting across from me. We should have Mahiro design us something that women can use to seduce men. It would have some sort of temptress theme to it. We could call it something like Little Devil. Oh, I like it. With a catchy name like that, it would be easy to advertise as well. That's true. It would be nice to have something along the lines of alluring in the name too. Maybe... How does enticement sound? There's also charming. Anyway, the final product should feel similar to lip gloss and have a similar appearance. Oh, that's clever. It would sell just as good as gloss, and maybe start a new trend. Hopefully. We got more and more worked up as our concept began to take form. Oh, I think we got a winner. Yeah. We both smiled and nodded in approval. This scene reminded me of working with him like in the old days. I enjoyed it. It's fun to work with you. I was thinking the same thing. We're good at bouncing ideas off each other. I guess you could say we have compatible personalities. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out so we could work together again. I never realized how enjoyable it was to work with you until you left. That's why I promised myself never to make the same mistake again. What mistake? The mistake of letting you leave me. I didn't leave you, I left the department. Huh? Was I wrong? N no that means a lot to me. Was he still talking about work or something more personal? Thinking about the deeper meaning, my face began to blush. Well, at least we're not that clueless and we got a little bit of a hint there. But how much of a hint did we get? Mr. Saijo stared at me and looked like he wanted to say something. Suddenly, the meeting room door opened. How is everything? Doing well? Very. I've been blessed with an extraordinary helper. N no I'm lucky to have such a great boss. It sounds like you're doing so well that you won't even need the pep rally. What pep rally? I was hoping to have one to kick off the project and to wish for our success. The date and time is, well, whenever I feel like it. <laughs> That's a great way to schedule things. Keep your ears and eyes open. Mr. Otori left us with that as the meeting room door closed behind him. Who schedules an event on a whim anyhow? Him, apparently. People who are rich enough to do that. 
I was in the office looking at emails when Mr. Saijo came by. Shall we head to the meeting room? Is there something to discuss? Well, no, but it's the pepper alley we heard about, so I came to get you. That was quick. He's like that sometimes. Let's go. Mr. Saijo smirked with an amused face before leading me to the next room. It looked like everyone else had already gathered inside. Many bottles of liquor and plates of sushi were lined up on the table. Is it really a good idea to have liquor in here? At work? Now that everyone is here, let's have a toast. I thought pep rallies were supposed to inspire everyone to work harder and boost morale. I look at Mr. Otori with a beer in his hand, ready to toast, and I knew this was different. Then again, I should have been expecting that when he said he would schedule it on a whim. For the success of the project, our target is one million dollars. Cheers! Dollars are yen! Cheers! Wait, what? One million? Our CEO blurted out a tremendous amount, as if it was nothing to him. Everyone around the room almost spit out their drinks. Well, they say it's good to set your goals high. It gives you something to aim for. I agree. The other team members seemed so confident, I wish I could be more like them. I tried to conjure up some confidence, but I still felt nervous about the whole thing. Hey, you don't look so good. Try to relax, okay? You should try eating something. It might help. The two of them noticed the worry on my face and tried to help. I'm just feeling the pressure a little bit. One million yen is a big goal to set. You're always so serious. Don't try to think about it so much. If you ever need to talk to someone, I'm here for you. We should go for a drink sometime. I was just about to say I would love to. Suddenly, somebody came from behind and put their arms around me. That's a little forward? I think not. This lady is my partner. You could come too? Mr. Saijo! My heart pounded in my chest. In an instant, the room became silent and all eyes were on us. Sexual harassment! Your boss is much more reliable than these boys who just started here. B but what if I just want to relax and have fun? Oh, I'm good for that too. I'm not handing you over to someone else, you hear? His bold voice and confidence left no room for anyone to argue. I couldn't believe he was fighting over me right in the middle of the party. Peeking over my shoulder, I looked at his face. He wasn't the least bit concerned about it. Was he being jealous? In the first chapter, nonetheless. It was after the pep rally had ended. Well, at least we have some history with him, so there's a reason for him to be infatuated with us already. Mr. Saijo was escorting me to the train station. He must have had too much alcohol to drive, so we had to walk home instead. Even though it happened way earlier, I couldn't stop thinking about what he said at the pep rally. What? Is there something on my face? No, that's not it. Then what? I hesitated over what to say. It's what you said at the pep rally. I can't believe you said something like that with everyone there. Sorry if I surprised you. I was being serious, though. Huh? A jolt ran through my body, freezing my legs in place. Mr. Saijo came to a stop as well and began to stare at me. I want you to be mine and only mine. I was serious about that. His sudden confession made me dizzy. M Mr. Saijo, I think you've had a little too much to drink. I tried to hide my panic by blaming him, but my excitement leaked out of my voice. Oh, I'm not that drunk. If anything, I'm drunk in love. Enough with the jokes. Besides, I can't date my boss. It would be impossible to work like that. Don't forget Mr. Otori said we couldn't do that too. It won't matter if no one finds out. You know we could do it easily. Not if you keep doing things like embracing me in the middle of the workroom with everybody around. His arm stretched out towards me and caressed my cheek. And doing things like this in public? Somebody might be walking by. It doesn't matter. I'll make you mine in the end. Don't say I didn't warn you. I felt my cheeks grow warmer from a sudden confession of love. I didn't know about this. I already made up my mind. When did you become so pushy? I've always been pushy. Didn't you know that? His face turned into a gentle smile, but his eyes were different. They looked at me like a hunter looks at his prey. I couldn't look away. Oh, okay, I'm liking him more now. <laughs> In my heart, I thought he was the ideal boss. I was overjoyed to work with him. But I never thought the day would come where he confessed his love to me. I didn't know what to do. Roll with it, baby, roll with it. Thanks to what Mr. Saijo said to me, I didn't get a wink of sleep. 
<sighs> that was some yawn. Were you out having fun last night? D don't say that. Come on, after hearing Mr. Saijo claim you like that, it's warranted. I'm telling you, that was a joke of his. No, it wasn't. I just know. It's my male intuition. <laughs> I've never heard of male intuition. I know female intuition, but... It stands that there should be male intuition. He seemed full of confidence, but at the same time, disappointed to say it. Good morning. Speak of the devil, just when Mr. Saijo came walking in. G good morning. Maybe I should have picked Mahiro first. He doesn't really seem like my type, but maybe he is the happiest route. I'm a little bit worried about uh, Mr. Saijo here. Hello. After hearing what he said yesterday, I couldn't look him straight in the face. My heart raced. Mahiro, do you remember what I said yesterday? He gave Mahiro an eerie smile. Something about him seemed threatening. Uh, of course. Um, I'm going to buy some coffee. Bye. Mahiro scrambled out of the office. Is he going to threaten every guy that talks to me? What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'd say it worked pretty well. Maybe it was good that I said that in front of everyone yesterday. Don't tell me that was part of your plan. It might have been. You're more of a schemer than I thought. <laughs> I'd prefer you say clever instead. It's better to scare them off in the beginning. What? What? Him? He isn't after me. Are you kidding me? You are the only one that thinks that. He was the first one to make moves on you. Come on, seriously? I don't even attempt to look pretty. I look boring. That's only because you work so hard. You don't have time to. But my beauty still shines through my dingy exterior, like Snow White. Even rags cannot hide my beauty or Cinderella. Either one of them. Well, certain people can see past that. Apparently all five of you. The thanks, I guess. He smiled at me and sat down at his desk. I wondered for how long he'd been watching me. Overjoyed, I broke into a smile. Maybe my relationship with him would go somewhere. After hearing he was interested in me, I wasn't sure how to behave around Mr. Saijo. In order to escape him, I'd locked myself away in the meeting room these past couple days. It was the only way I could actually get some work done. <laughs> the problem is taking the concept and making a product with it. I poured over the designs Mahiro drew up for me, with ideas running through my head. Do you have a minute? It depends. It's you. <laughs> That's not a nice word to greet somebody. <laughs> you don't have to look scared like that. I'm not. Really? It's like you've been avoiding me for a few days now. You knew? You knew? Of course. I watch over you so much that it's obvious what you're thinking. That's kind of embarrassing. You finally acknowledge that I'm serious, haven't you? He smiled at me, absolutely pleased with himself. Our relationship has finally made its first step forward. The early bird gets the worm, they say. It was good for me to get that confession out first. That seems unfair. I am unfair when it comes to love. You devil. That's like a compliment to me. He shrugged his shoulders when I glared at him. Just then, the door opened and Mr. Kaido walked in. What are you two up to? Working, as you can see. It looks to me that all you're doing is getting in her way. Well, thanks for your input. Don't forget how you got here. I hope you don't intend to pay back his kindness by slacking off. I don't intend to, so calm down. I surely hope so. Mr. Kaido left the room, but not before letting out a sigh. Do you get along well with him? I don't think we even met him before this game started. Yeah, we started at the same time. Okay, so we do have background with him. Do we have background with everybody in here then? What did he mean by kindness? Mr. Hyoga helped me out a bunch back when I started here. So, is that why you're under so much pressure to see this project through? That's right. I'm working hard to make both the project and our relationship a success. My emotions started to run wild when I heard him talk about us. Wow, he is really, really open about this. While I felt happy about it, at the same time it caused me all sorts of worry. I'm worried that he's yandere. Having been at meetings all day, I was completely exhausted. It was finally time for lunch, and I was thinking about what I wanted to eat. Are you heading out for lunch? Yeah, I was thinking about going somewhere. Would you mind if I came along? I'll pay. Uh, my boss wouldn't like that. 
No, I can't have that. I'm your senior. It'll be my treat. Ah! We have to sneak out, though. We have to go into stealth mode. The boss can't see, or he might murder you. I can't make a woman buy a meal. Besides, you're always helping me. Let me pay back. How about I treat you both? While Kentaro and I were talking, Mr. Saijo dropped by and interrupted us. Really? You would do that? Of course. You can pick whatever you like. Wow, thank you. Uh, Kentaro was overjoyed, but I couldn't find it in me to act the same. Mr. Saijo was always scheming. I was sure this was one of his sneaky plans. Knowing what I do about him, I couldn't help but think that. Aren't you happy? He asked me in a quiet voice. I... What are you planning? Apparently he likes me to understand his schemes. He doesn't want me to be oblivious or just nice. What are you planning? <laughs> you know me well. That wasn't meant as a compliment. Of course I'm planning something. Uh, what is it this time? I'm going to feed him like a pet and train him to stay away from you. <laughs> Lovely. Mr. Saijo was one wicked man. Do you always act this jealous? Not always, just usually. When I looked at him, it didn't look like he was joking at all. Was I getting involved with someone who was a little crazy? A little? Maybe more than a little. I forced myself to smile at him. I mean, it is only the first chapter, and he's kind of out there a little bit. Being around him was bad for my emotions. I wondered how much longer I could take all of this. Another day went by, and I was left working alone in the office late into the night. Or so I thought. Mr. Saijo came back. Suddenly, my pulse quickened. It may not be a good idea to work late very much with him around. <laughs> Were you out with clients? Yeah, it took a bit longer than usual today. It must be tough to be a sales manager. Yeah, but I make them tell me all sorts of confidential information. I bet you're good at getting people to spill their secrets. I am. And would you believe they told me what our competition is making? What? That's amazing! Can you bring up the info we've been working on? Yeah, sure. He watched me from the side as I worked on my computer. My heart raced when I noticed how handsome he looked when he was deep in thought. I had to remind myself that this wasn't the time to be thinking about him. I turned my attention back to the computer screen. Huh? What's wrong? Um, on the bottom of the screen... I thought I saw an icon I didn't recognize, but it disappeared. <gasps> We're being hacked. There's a traitor in our midst. Is it that little blonde dude that we can't date? He's a mole. Maybe it had been my imagination. It's nothing. I think I'm just getting tired. The documents he wanted to look at finally loaded. I see. He intently studied the screen. Not able to help myself, I peeked at him from the corner of my eye. I couldn't help but think how majestic he looked. Majestic? Thanks, that helps. Sure, did you find anything useful? I sure did. Well, are you going to tell me? I don't know if I want to. Come on, cut it out already. I enjoy teasing girls that I like. When he stared right into my eyes, I lost my composure and became flustered. S stop acting like a child. Although I felt like a child myself for getting so embarrassed over nothing, everything he said to me seemed to make my emotions run wild one way or another. How in the world was I going to manage working with this guy? Ah, uh, yes, the chapters in this game are much, much longer than the Amazing Shinsengumi, so we've actually got a full-length game this time. Well, I mean, that's only one chapter, but it's a really good sign. So, things should be pretty good, I think. And chapter two will be Love Starts With a Kiss. Now, the nice thing about this is that we're not starting from people that we don't know where we have to build up the relationship and then, you know, you don't actually get together until three quarters of the way through the game and then you get like a nice little, you know, you finally start kissing in the last chapter or something. So, um, but the bad news is that if this is one of the more risque games with scenes in it that are a little too descriptive, I might have to make them restricted videos. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, but I have to be responsible. I don't want to corrupt our youth. Well, I already corrupt our youth with some of my videos, but I don't want to one of these days, I'm going to have to make a video <laughs> about how I feel about reading these things to younger people. Well, anyway, that's neither here nor there at the moment. So, I hope to see you in the next video here. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And 
and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.